Hello everybody. Welcome to Uncharted 2 Among Thieves. And we are straight in with the action. Oh good. That's my blood. That's my blood. It's a lot of my blood. Looks like we're in trouble as usual. Jeez. Oh yeah, definitely in trouble. Looks like uh, Nathan Drake's luck hasn't changed much since the end of Uncharted 1. A rock and a hard place. Holy shit. Well, we had climbed a fair way up, but we're back down again. Oh. Yeah, we might want to hurry up and get off of this. Wonder what the hell happened for us to be here anyway. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, uh, great. Ooh. Swing and jump. Don't you dare. Okay. Not sure what that was about. <laughs> that chair's gone. Oh, shit. It's going well, isn't it? Ah, oh, good, we're back on the pipe. That went so well last time. Oh man. Now we really need to get off of this thing. Would help if we weren't wounded in some way. Ah, uh, come on, mate. Go, 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 go. Oh, man. Oh, we made it. Jeez, what a start. Buy me a drink, sailor. Harry Flynn? Hey! What the hell are you doing here? I'm looking for you, mate. Uh-oh. Should I be flattered or worried? Maybe a bit of both. <laughs> Come here. I've got a job for us. Really? A client is willing to part with a huge sum of cash if we acquire a certain object for him. All right, I'm listening. Now, you're not going to like this. Oh, no. No, you're out of your mind. Yeah, you just, just hear me out. No, no. Flynn, we both know two people who were killed trying to lift something out of this and place. And one who made it out. Yeah, barely. I can't do this without you, Drake. 
You're the only one who's cracked it, and you know better than anyone it's a two-person job. No, no, no. Three, actually. Right. And speak of the devil, here she comes now. What? Chloe Fraser. Nate. Drake. Nathan. Drake. Hello, Harry. Chloe Guess is Elena's not in the picture in anymore, then. She'll take good care of us. I bet. Right, look. I've got it all figured out. We go in through the sewer. I'm loving it so far. That puts us in the courtyard. From there, we scale up the wall, run across the rooftops, and just drop down into the exhibit hall. Bob's your uncle. And what is worth all this trouble, I hear you ask? I didn't, but go ahead. <laughs> but that's it. An oil lamp. Yeah. <laughs> it's worthless. I don't get it. Neither do we. That's why we tracked you down. Well, it sounds like you're working for a nutcase. Hmm. Some collector who's got too much time and money on his hands. And by the way, this is not worth any of it. But there's more. Ah, oh, there's always more. How's your 13th century Latin, mate? Pretty good. How's yours? Where'd you get this? Borrowed it from the files of the nutcase. <laughs> In Trebizond, we were set upon by thieves. Father, Maffeo, and I were robbed of our greatest treasures. This was written by Marco Polo. Yes, that much we were able to work out. Unfortunately, the rest of it's nonsense. Hey, hold on. So that it should not fall into the wrong hands, I concealed my great sorrow in the unlikeliest place. The light of the great Khan shelters the fate of the Thirteen. See what I mean? It's just gibberish. He's talking about the lost fleet. Yeah. I don't know, someone want to fill me in? No, Marco it's not Polo for dumbasses. With 600 passengers and 14 ships, loaded down with treasure from Kublai Khan. And he lands in Persia a year and a half later, with only one ship left, and only 18 passengers. Now, he recorded every detail of his journey, but he never told what happened to all those ships, and the passengers. So, so somewhere out there, there are 13 ships loaded with the Emperor's treasure waiting to be found. Yeah, and that is what your client is after. Hey, look at this lamp. It's covered in Mongolian script. It must have been a gift from Kublai Khan. The light of the great Khan shelters Shelter the, the fate of the, of the 13. 13. Marco Polo hid something inside this lamp. Something that pinpoints the site of the lost fleet. Looks like we're going so, after that lamp. We're dicking this guy over, right? Damn straight. Absolutely. <laughs> you in then? What the hell? I mean, what could possibly go wrong? <laughs> yeah. What could possibly go wrong? I don't know, maybe we could end up bleeding out on the side of a fucking mountain. After almost tumbling over the edge after some massive train crash. But, I suppose we'd better get up and carry on. I'd rather not die here. Let's uh, take a look at this. Wrathful Deity Statue. Looks pretty scary. That's our first treasure. Oh, good. Hopefully we don't get crushed. Wonder what the fuck happened for us to get here. Well, that's fuel or something, so we really don't want to, you know, have that set on fire. I'll take that as well. Saraswati statue. Oh man, my pronunciations are going to catch me out on this game, aren't they? I'll do my best. Why do we need a gun anyway? We'll find out shortly. Huh. 
Yeah, there we go. Locked. It's always locked. Just gonna reload that. Just in case. What's with the music, man? Someone's got a treasure for us. Tibetan snuff bottle. There's more treasures on this one than there were on Uncharted 1. That is for sure. Oh god. Here he comes. Whoa! Karma's a bitch. He's alive! What was that, sorry? Ha 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 ha. A fair amount of ammo in this gun. And smack that down. Looks like it hurt. There's no more treasures lying around, are there? Again, we'll try to get as many of the treasures as we can. Doesn't matter if we don't get them all. We've got them all in Uncharted 1, though. Which I was quite surprised about. Jump! Nice. Bhutanese lime box. Come on. Climb up, Nate. Looks like we're going up here. That's gotta hurt. And so is that. Hopefully we don't go off the edge of the cliff again. Nate? Looks like it's another flashback. Hello. Uh, <clears throat> well, so much for foreplay. You mind telling me what the hell is going on? You mean with Flynn? Yeah, you might have warned me. And missed the look on your face? Anyway, you haven't exactly made yourself easy to find. Talk about making yourself easy. Oh, you're not jealous. Let's not forget who walked out on whom. After all, you don't get to be jealous. <laughs> Wait a minute, Chloe. If it makes you feel any better, my relationship with Flynn is strictly professional. Really? Mostly professional. Oh. When I figured out he was actually on to something, I thought you'd want to be in on the action. <laughs> so what's the plan? Just like we said. Yeah, I'm guessing the late. I'm guessing that. Um, Elaine is well out of the picture the now, then. With Flynn. Not sure what happened between the end then, of one and this. And then we split the take three ways, and you and I just disappear. Together, this time. I see. Until then, he can't know about us. He's gonna be pissed. He's gonna be fine. <coughs> Trust me. If you say so. Not sure I'm going to be fine, though. It's being quite a bad way here. Oof. It's 
bit of a gnarly jump. And we're back off the edge of the mountain again. Terrific. <laughs> that is a fucking dangerous jump, man. <laughs> Beginner fortune hunter. Gao Amlet Thokchag? I don't know. Togchag? I'm not sure how to pronounce that. <laughs> it's a treasure anyway. How many have we got now? Five. Nice. Oh, man. Just going to keep taking these hits. We got that, whatever that is. Some sort of golden stick thing. Some weird dagger or something. Are you sure you're up for this? I'd feel a lot better if I had a gun. We won't need them. A little insurance, that's all. Flynn, they're just museum guards. And we have their patrols all mapped out. Relax. Relax. Guess we're <laughs> Relax. doing the heist now. Have you ever been in a Turkish prison, mate? If we get caught, they will lock us up and throw away the sodding key. You do realize that, don't you? Better than you do. Well, you may fancy that kind of thing, but I don't. <laughs> Can't afford to make any mistakes. Yeah, and we won't. We're here. Yay! Through the sewers. This way. If you say so. So what do we do if they switch the patrols? Figure it out as we go. We cannot it's fumble. Our improvise. Way I don't fumble. I improvise. Oh, is that what you call? There you go. Yeah, I'm uh, adaptable. Adaptable. You cocky bastard. <laughs> there. What did I tell you? That passage there is going to take us right under the museum. <laughs> you called it all right. You nice. need to have a little more faith in me, chum. <laughs> okay, this one here is me. All right, remember, that tower is our only way into the exhibit. But we can't even get close with those floodlights on. We've gone over this. Just make sure you cut the power by the time we reach the second courtyard. The lights will be out. I'll have the van waiting at the rendezvous point. Just make sure you get your asses out of there in time. Fair enough. All right, enough chat. Let's do this. Let's go. <sighs> Chloe. See you on the other side. Looking forward to it. Focus, Nate. 